Hi, I'm Chad, the Technical Marketing Manager at Conair. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this thermalator, but as you can see, we've taken the skin off here so we can see what's going on inside. We've talked a lot in the past about what's happening with this new touchscreen TWT control. Today's video, we're going to talk about what's happening back here mechanically that works alongside that touchscreen control to give you the most benefit and most features available in any thermalator. And what I wanted to show you today is some of the cool stuff we can see before the skin is on. So we're gonna take a look here kind of at the guts of the machine and I'll point out some of these features that are really beneficial to you as a plastics processor. One of the first features I wanna talk about today is auto relief technology. And that's happening right here. You can see the pump is here. That's providing the pressures going up through the tank. This is the outlet of the thermalator. And it used to be you'd see your pressure relief valve up here. And what would happen is as that pressure increased going to the process, this relief valve would open and you'd find those puddles on your floor. You'll notice here, no more pressure relief valve because our thermalator is smart enough to know when that pressure is high, it's actually going to open this modulating valve to adjust the pressure as necessary so you don't have those puddles forming from the relief valve opening on this outlet side of the thermalator. Another really nice new feature about these TWT thermalators, you've got built-in pressure transducers. So right here you can see is the pressure transducer that's seeing the from process pressure and over here is the pressure transducer that's seeing the to process pressure. These two transducers send that signal to the display so right on your touchscreen HMI you're seeing the pressures of the to process and from process. Thanks to these pressure transducers feeding the information to the control we now have a feature called adaptive max set point point. and what adaptive max set point can do is it'll see that pressure is too low and it will reduce the maximum set point as necessary. This allows you to still run your process without the thermalator timing out or alarming out, but it will lower that maximum set point. So adaptive max set point automatically changes the maximum set point to respond to plumbing pressure and desired set points. This lets you get away with lower pressure if you're running at lower temperatures. You only need the pressure that physics requires to not boil the water in the process loop at your chosen operating temperature. Now let's talk about auto restart technology. Let's say there's a power outage. When this thermalator comes back on, it will remember the settings you had. You can even set it to delay. So if you need the rest of your process to come up and running first, you can set this to delay and then come back on to the previous set points. Another great feature of the new thermalator is the auto cool stop technology. This allows you to cool down the mold and then shut down. In fact, you can set the thermalator to do that automatically. After it cools down the mold, it'll automatically start that shutdown process. Auto cool stop technology is great for a one touch after lunch mold change. You can set it to be manually turned on or you can set it to automatically invoke whenever stopping the machine. Now let's talk about auto depressurization. What this does is it bleeds all the air out of the process lines so that you don't get soaked with water when you're disconnecting after a mold purge. Built into this TWT control is an integrated flow meter. The integrated flow meter digitally displays calculated current flow rates and historical trends to determine if mold cleaning is necessary. The TWT control is part of Conair's common control platform. That means you're going to get that same interface you're used to if you're operating a blender or a dryer. You're going to get that menu button that we call the hamburger menu and all your settings and navigation will be similar to any other Conair control on the common control platform. So what that means for the TWT is you're going to have that hamburger menu, you're going to have the operator levels, and you're even going to have the contextual help. So you're going to hit that contextual help button and it will guide you through navigation of the screens telling you what each button on the screen will do or each set point does when you change those settings. Another nice new feature of Conair's TWT Thermalator is the five-step ramp soak control. The five-step ramp soak control is for programmable sequences or interfacing with multi-step external processes. This is very flexible. You design the sequence and the triggers. One of the things you won't see is here at the back of the machine and that is a rear panel. Now this is done intentionally. No rear panel means increased airflow, which increases the life of your pump and your heater. This also allows you to visually inspect. You can see right inside here to the motor, the pump, the heater. So easy visual inspection without removing a back panel. Another feature you'll see here on the TWT 
is this modulating cooling valve. That gives you nice regulated temperature, none of those wild temperature swings you may have seen with previous types of valves. The modulating cooling valve also allows for process variations without requiring valve changes. You can see here at the bottom of the pump there is a built-in sediment trap that keeps any contamination from getting up into your pump seals. Conner uses high efficiency pumps from 3 quarter horsepower to 10 horsepower. Something you can't see but we think you're really going to like is the way the heater is mounted into the heating tube. There's a new gasket in there that greatly reduces the chances for any leaking around that connection. And last but certainly not least, I want to mention the solid state relays that are now standard on every TWT thermalator. That means no more worn out heater contactors. SSRs, you gotta love them. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video tour of a look inside the thermalator. If you'd like to know more about Conair thermalators, feel free to visit us on the website at www.conairgroup.com. You can always reach out to your local sales rep or email us at info at conairgroup.com. We'd be happy to send you more information or set up a demonstration where you can come and take a look at not only thermalators, but everything we've got to offer here at Conair. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.